Hey guys, so I'm just going to do a quick rundown here of my Nexus 7 2013 32GB tablet. Um, this is going to be installed in my car, and it's going to function as the hub of my car's entertainment system. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and show you a few tricks here that I've put into this tablet that's going to allow it to function very well as a, um, as a media center. Uh, one of the things that I want to talk about is the kernel. It's a custom kernel with CyanogenMod 13.0 and the device is rooted. Um, I'm just tapping it to keep the screen on there just by habit, but actually when it's plugged in the screen is programmed to never turn off and you'll notice um, I've got this double tap to sleep and double tap to wake function. That's a function of the custom kernel and it's good because if for some reason this were to ever turn off in your car you could get it back on without having to turn off and turn back on your car or um, hell, pull out your dashboard which would really suck. Um, one of the kernels that people often use when they do these installs is Timmer's USB ROM kernel. Um, that's a kernel and ROM type combination there. I was originally going to use that and I made another video where I had started using that, but I decided that this is actually a better solution and I'm going to tell you why. <coughs> well, first of all, I've got the double tap to wake there and I can, using the kernel manager here, easily sort through everything. So say this, uh, take a look where the battery level is right now, it's at 40%. You'll see that climbing as I'm using this tablet because this um, this the battery use on this kernel is very low, and when it's the screen is off, it actually holds it in somewhat of a suspended state of animation, a deep sleep, where it doesn't use very much battery power, and it can last. I'm I'm predicting probably weeks. We'll see how that goes. Uh, one of the things I've also programmed into this tablet is that when I turn off the ignition. Um, and turn it back on. If the tablet is fully off, it'll turn itself back on. So say I left it for a month or something and it did die. Just turning on the car would immediately turn on the tablet as well without having to pull out the dashboard. Um, yeah, taking a look here, this kernel allows for USB fast charge and OTG charging mode, which uh, Timmer's ROM also does, but this I find is, uh, it's working for me better. Plus it's free as opposed to 15 euros. Um, <coughs> You don't need to root the tablet with this because it's already rooted. If you go into the menu here, just head into developer options and check root access for apps and ADB, and you're good to go for your root. Now, the uh, operating system here that I'm running is CyanogenMod 13.0, and the reason I'm doing that, you might have noticed already, is it expands my screen. There are no home, back, or anything buttons on here. See that? So. When I want them, I just swipe down and I've got them. When I don't want them, swiping in from the corners triggers my programs, which is pretty cool. So this is power amp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, swiping in from the corners there takes me to maps. And the nice thing about that, about using the corner navigation there, is that when I'm in different apps, I can get to different screens without having to go back to my home screen here. Uh, the other thing about this kernel, okay, we are just going to shut that down here for a second, is that we can also do split screen. Now the all-in-one gestures thing doesn't really like the split screen and sometimes it crashes, but when it doesn't, or when it does, you just go in and restart it anyway, so it's not a big deal. But checking this out, we've got maps on one side, and that's actually settings, but let me pull up power amp there. Yeah, so we've got power amp music playing, etc. Maps going, so just picture yourself driving, you got your maps on this side, you know where you're going, and you can still control your music on the same screen. Not bad. So let's get that all closed. <coughs> now looking at my power, or my menu here, you notice there's an extra bar there. What that is is an app called uh, DS Battery Sla Saver, and that allows it to I think go into deep sleep and you can control it a little bit easier using that. Um, that's the free app that it's it's worth the download if you don't really want to go in and trigger everything under the kernel um, and turn off everything like that. Uh, one thing that I've programmed here is when I pull the ignition, tablet will automatically turn itself off and lock it and putting it back in, turning the car on comes back on. So when it turns off like that, it's in the deep sleep. Wi-Fi will turn off, Bluetooth, everything will turn off. Using that kernel, you can actually shut down 
three of the cores since this is a quad core tablet and it's using next to nothing for power. The way I did that is I used uh, the program called Automate It, and that's an excellent program. And it can do a lot of different things for you. This is just a simple program I wrote on it there. But you can see there's huge potential on this. You're really only limited by your imagination. And it's worth a download as well. <coughs> the last thing I want to talk about is my uh, my dashboard here. It's an app called Car Widget. Pretty simple. That's what it looks like when you first pull it up. You can add whatever you want on there. Uh, I don't know what I just clicked there. Yeah, let's say you want to add an app. Apex. And it works out nicely. And that brings me to my launcher, actually, which is the Apex launcher. And the reason it's the Apex launcher is because it um, gives you a lot more flexibility over your home screen there. Um, there's a ton of home screen options here. You can change the size, you can change the interface, you can hide or unhide those notification bars. Um, it just You can download it and check it out. It just gives you a huge amount of flexibility over customizing your home screen. And yeah, that's my, uh, that's my tablet so far. So this is actually ready to go. It's going to go into my dashboard. And I'm going to make another video here. This is uh, the second in a series of videos where I'm going to wire it up, show you guys how to do that. And um, stay tuned. If you just hit the subscribe button down there, uh, you'll get a notification when I do put up my next video. It's going to be probably when it gets a little bit warmer. Well, we'll see how that goes. And uh, stay tuned.